welcome to the last beer, Raggy's beer review of the day because if I have any more I'm going to be steaming and here's one I picked up uh, from Audi's beer festival and it's Sanford Orchid, Orchids, Orchids, Devon Red a supreme session cider it's 4.5% not familiar at all with this cider so named after the rich red soil that gives our orchards their distinctive quality Devon Red is fermented from local apples never concentrate it's how we did it in 2002 and we always will so obviously it's a nice golden colour and ciders are a drink you know synonymous with drinking them in summer you know First quenching cider in the middle of summer, 4.5%, uh, yep, it's not going to um, get you steaming, not like some of the, you know, the scrumpies of this world, uh, let's give it a pour. Today it's 88 degrees in this shed and it is quarter six at night. Ridiculous the heat. You know, we are having one of the warmest summers uh, that I can remember as a as a grown person. Um, and a lot one of the longest spells of continuous uh, sun and sunny days with no rain. But anyway, here's the ball. Just on a golden champion review, that's why there's some left in the uh... Yeah, so as you can see, lovely golden colour, plenty. You know the carbonations. This isn't a glass that's got lots of widgets in. It's got some, you know, a few. So you don't get a, a really a massive amount of carbonation carbonation coming from it. And uh, it's an important thing to think about, really. If your glass has got a lot of the, I don't know what it is on the bottom. I, I, I don't understand it hundred percent myself. But I've got a Stella Cedra glass, and obviously Stella's, you know, that's that sort of beer anyway at Largo Harbour but on this glass it froths up like a, a bugger and on this glass it's more pronounced you know there's like hints of, of it carbonating but anyway you can still see it carbonating it's got a head on it probably not as much of a head as if it was in a different glass so there's another thing to think about you know choose your glasses if you want a decent head on something choose a glass that will has got the widgety things on the bottom widgets and uh, if you want the head Obviously, apple. Lovely aroma of apple, you know. I mean, I suffer with hay fever, and that's a pronounced apple uh, smell to it. Not a massive cider fan. I do like my fruity ciders. I love recorder links and copperbergs. And uh, I will try other ciders, you know. Um, this year I'm thinking of brewing. We've got some apple trees, uh, I've got one in the garden, if any apples come on it. But I've got one at work as well with loads of apples and I, and I might actually do my own cider, just for a, chance, a try. Oh, Lovely strong um, apple taste to it, you know, really, really feel it on the lips. Yeah, really nice taste to that. You know, it's not one I've heard of before. It was in Aldi's recent beer festival, which was about a month ago now, because I went in one day, seen about 20 beers I'd never seen before. The wife got me a load from my son, seven year old, for my birthday, uh, for Father's Day rather. So, 
first time of trying it, now Father's Day's out of the way, and uh, a really nice beer. For some reason, the internet's down at the moment, so I'm having to use my phone for the internet. So, let me just do a quick Google on this. And my phone's ready for dying as well, would you believe? Ah. Sanford Orchards, Devon Red. Right, so this is their bump. <clears throat> Devon Red is a perfectly balanced, refreshing, oh, my phone's going to die in this minute, medium cider, named after the rich red soil that gives our orchards their distinctive quality. Let me try and get a review before my phone dies. Always the same, isn't it? You can never get a bloody review. Aha. Uh -huh. So they're rating it 3.2 out of 5. I think rate beer as a lot of people who, let's be fair, a lot of people will go on sites, they'll give a crap rating because they have a crap pint. And sometimes, you know, you've got to be a little bit more, you know, you don't want to kill off some brewery because you're giving a shit rating, you know. It's not the way to be. So... The first review, pours clear gold, aroma as gentle apple fruit. Um, old, and somebody else here, ordered it and seemed to swiftly regret it. Bottle, clear golden colour, some white bubbles, aroma as apples and some stables. How can you get stables in, the, in an aroma? Yeah. Uh, golden with light carbonation, earthy apple with sugar sweetness. I'll go with that, yeah. You know, that's actually quite a fair comment. Someone's put a, a clear something peach coloured pour with a lasting halo. Aromas of dried, dry fermented apples and light tart berries. So, some varied um, reviews. One thing I will say, you know, clearly prevalent is the apples. Oh, absolutely. You know, if you, if you love your ciders, this. I mean, I've tasted Strongbow. I think Strongbow, you know, it's obviously the brand leader. Strongbow's the brand leader on the market. Um, followed by the likes of Bulmers. Uh, Scumpy Jack um, and then your fruity beers come into play your Copperbergs and your Recorder Legs and that but that is a, you know it's a nice uh, cider oh, bags of apple taste which is obviously ciders Strongbow ciders you know Sorry, apples and ciders. Ooh. I've just done a beer review, so this after the beer review, and in this heat, you know, it's... Um... But yeah, first quenching, you know, it, it, my first, it's actually sorted it. It's not sorted my A fever. You ought to make one that sorts A fever, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Imagine going to the chemist and say, uh, can I have a pint of that beer or cider there, please, mate? You know, just, just me a fever. Oh, my God, you'd make a fortune. Especially in the months of summer. Spot on apple flavour. For me, it tastes stronger than 4.5%. But that's the thing, and I'm sure I'm not the only beer drinker who knows this, that if you drink the same beer all the time, you can be drinking something that's 7%. If you're drinking that beer week in, week out, that beer to you will not hit you. Um, you'll be able to have seven or eight pints of it. And because your body's used to that beer, and used to the taste of it, the, you know, and whatever else, 
it deals with it easier. When you start chopping and changing your beer, it's like you go on a wheat with some mates of mine. We'll go on a, a, a Mansfield Road night out in town, Nottingham. Pub to pub. Very gassy. Um, we'll go pub to pub drinking different real ales, you know. We'll go to the Lincoln Chipotle in, you know, and pay silly prices for beers that I've never heard of. Like, uh, I paid nearly six quid for a pint of this uh, strawberry something of a milkshake. Strawberry milkshake, I think it was, yeah. Mates were laughing their head off. Six quid for a pint. But anyway, and it wasn't even that good in the end, which is sad. But, you know, chopping and changing pints, one game, two, all the chopping and changing, it, you know, your body isn't used to all these different hops and or whatever else. And that's why you get drunk a lot quicker. Because when you're on the same stuff all the time, your body gets used to it, it's not worried. But anyway, my battery's gonna die any second. So, out of five, I think, Definitely about a 4.4 .4 out of 5. I think it's a very good cider. You know, Sanford Orchids, never heard of it. Never seen it in the big supermarkets. But if you're watching this, and I will tag you on Facebook when I put the video up. Lovely. Lovely apple aromas from it. Lovely apple taste. And I'm hoping I get to say, you know. And I'm going to neck the whole lot in a minute because it's, it's lovely. And especially on a summer's day. Um, still carbonating nicely. Still got a little lead on it. Make sure if you do, do watch this and you've got a glass with lots of widgets on the bottom. Get one that really froths it up. If you want the thicker head, get one that does that. But yeah, absolutely spot on. Right, I'm going to close it down before it cuts me off and then it, the review goes to hell. Thanks for watching and hope you're watching another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spits review.